Welcome to the Fix It Shop. I'm your host, Charlie Byers. Today, we're going to talk about one of the more difficult terms and definitions in building layout, and that's the term benchmark. Now, it's not a bench that sits in the park that you go and put a mark on to try to take a reading on, but what it is, it is a fixed known point of elevation that's usually described on our site plan drawing that we follow to determine how high is our instrument in level reading above the benchmark. Now, in our first segment of the Builder's Transit, we talked about all the methods that we had to do to set this up. So here it is all set up and ready to go. And again, here's my story pole. So what I want to do is I want to take my partner and have him walk to the benchmark and set this on top of it. And for today, I'm going to take a reading on the benchmark height of instrument. Every day, every time I set this up, I always have to go back to the benchmark and take a new reading, kind of like going back to ground zero. The same thing is true with the laser level, except I'm not looking through a uh, lens to get the level sight with the crosshairs on the story pole. I'm actually going to set the receiver on the story pole and the bottom of the story pole is going to sit on the benchmark and then I'm going to simply raise or lower the receiver until I get that blue LED light and the audible beep which now tells me this is the height above benchmark that my level line is reading for my laser level. Now with that in mind it's always a great idea to carry a either a paper pad with you or a piece of wood in your nail bag. And every time you take a height of instrument reading for that day, write the number down that you're reading on the story pole. So the way this story pole is reading it right now, let's say it would be reading four foot seven inch right there. So I want to write down four foot seven inch, today's date, and about the time I took the reading. So let's just say it's 8 a.m. Got to the job site at 7.30, we all talked about Monday night football. We don't have a water cooler on the job site, but we got a toolbox and we kind of gather around the toolbox just like people do with the water cooler in the office. So by the time we get to work and everything's set up, we take a, a height of instrument reading for this laser today, sitting on top of our benchmark, and we're at four foot seven. Now, quickly, let's talk about how important it is to write the time down. So let's say I took a height of instrument reading at 8 a.m. And at 9 a.m., we got a stone delivery. And yet the triaxle dump truck driver starts backing in, and he has his audible beeper going, so we know that's an OSHA requirement, and we hear. What we forget is we set the transit up in the tire tracks of yesterday's triaxle dump truck, and he's coming right back through the same path to put another 25 tons of 3B stone right on the pile. Well, all he's going to do is stop his truck, grab my tr transit, move it out of the way. Now it's sitting on a different spot on Mother Earth. Therefore, if I were to keep my readings at this height for height of instrument, the problem is my laser is not reading that height anymore. And now, because he's moved it, which he well knows, that if he runs this over, his company's probably going to buy me a new one for about $600. So to avoid that, he just moved it out of the way. That changes everything that we're working on, and it also changes even if he moves this one. So I hope you get a good idea about how we set benchmark and what it is. Again, a fixed point can't be moved of a known elevation. And then we set our readings off of that every day as ground zero. 